Okay, so good day everyone. This is Tinya Solium and Tinya Saginata. Okay, so your Tinya Solium, that is your pork tapeworm of man. And in the and in the um pork tapeworm of man, no, us humans can act as both the definitive host and intermediate host. Well your in your Tinya Saginata, which is the beef tapeworm of humans humans acts as a definitive host but never as an intermediate host so humans so human cysticercosis does not occur so we will discuss later what is human cysticercosis and why tinea saginata your beef tapeworm of humans will never act uh well why why in tinea saginata humans can never act as an intermediate host so for the measurement your tinea solium adults can go up to two to four millimeter mill i'm sorry meters in length um and they contain eight thousand to ten thousand proglottids so there are even reports of worm reaching 25 meters in length so ang haba haba nun Your tinea saginata, the adults, can go up to 4 to 10 meters in length and they have 1,000 to 4,000 proglottids. So imagine guys, ang haba-haba. We are talking about meters here. So for your scolex, no, your t- for your tinea solium, you have four acetabula, smaller and more spherical. And they have armed cushion-like rostellum. With double crown of 25 to 30 large and small hooks. Well, your Neurotinia saginata, your acetabula is more cuboidal. I'm sorry. <laughs> your your tinea saginata is mo- scolex is more cuboidal around 1 to 2 millimeters and has four prominent acetabula. And in your saginata, there is no hooks or rostellum. So this is under the electron microscope. So this is your solium, and this is your saginata. So for the proglottid, the gravid proglottids of tinea solium is gravid shorter, gravid shorter and square. They have seven to thirteen lateral uterine branches, and they uh they produce. They can produce thirty thousand to fifty thousand ova, which undergoes apolysis. So, what is apolysis? Apolysis is the detachment of a tapeworm proglottid. So, they can be passed out in the feces and uh, frequently separated and passed out in short chain, and they are not observed to actively crawl out. Your tinea saginata, naman, your gravid proglottids is more rectangular. So they have mature male and female organs, and they have two large lo- lobe ovaries and median club-shaped uterus. They they have follicular testes around three hundred to four hundred, and they have a vagina sphincter. So your gravid proglottids they had they have fifteen to twenty lateral branches with alternate genital pores, and they undergo apolysis. They can produce up to ninety-seven thousand to one hundred twenty-four thousand ova. No, so one worm that gives you five hundred ninety-four million ova per year, and they pass out through the f- feces singly. No, and they actively crawl out of the bowel to the. They can actively crawl out of the bowel to the external environment. For the ova, naman, we talk, if we talk about the eggs of the tinea spe, of the tinea solens and geneta, they are indistinguishable from each other, no. So. So what is the difference between your T solum and such with such geneta? Yes. So in your T solum, there is a presence of an accessory ovarian lobe. No, oh, there is no. Oh. Here, all oh, your solium. You have three lobes of ovary, while your saginata has two lobes of ovary. So, in solium, there is a present of an accessory ovarian lobe, no? And in solium, 
there is absence of vagina sphincter which is present in your saginata and in solium there are smaller number of follicular testes no around 100 to 200 in a mature proglottid of your t solium so yan diba? so this is very important you have to memorize how many branches no is there um in the graphic proglottid because this will help us in the identification of is is this um tina species Tina solium or T. saginata. Okay, let's proceed to the life cycle of your T. Um, of your T. solium. Okay. I'm sorry. This is T. saginata. This is T. saginata. <laughs> Makita anjan anjan pa din. But this is the life cycle of your tiniasis. So, pero, we will in this, uh, in this discussion muna, for now, no? We will start with the life cycle of the saginata. So, basically, upon the ingestion of, um, tina saginata eggs by the cattle, no? The oncosphere in the ova will be released. Will be released. Then, the oncosphere actively penetrates your intestinal mucosa and they enter a vein and they are carried to the other parts of your body. Pagkatapos nun, they enter your muscles and they develop into an infective stage, no? Deve in your muscles, they develop into an infective stage called cysticercosis, cysticerc, sorry, cysticer cysticercus bovis in two months so th that sister circus is avoidal milky white about 10 millimeter in diameter and as a single scolex invaginated into a fluid filled bladder so humans no in the humans ma infect tayo nun if we ingest this insisted larvae from eating raw or improperly cooked na beef. So, pag kinain natin yung improperly cooked beef containing containing um, cysticerca in the muscles of what we eat, when kinain natin yun, yung larva, madadigest yun out of the meat, yung scolex, yun yung mag-a-attach sa ating small intestines. Which, we which yung scolex na nag-attach, maging mature siya in about 12 weeks. So, usually, in T. saginata infections, only one adult tapeworm is present. No. So, the adults in the T. saginata, they seem to be irritated by alcohol. So, usually, may mga pasyente natin na uh, may ganito infection pagtata pagtain nila after maginuman the morning after no may makikita silang proglottid sometimes kasi the adult worms of your tinea saginata seems to be irritated by alcohol so ano na <laughs> so let's go to the pathogenesis and clinical manifestation of your tinea saginata so, the most common complaint is the passage of proglottids or segments in the stool. No? And, excuse me, there is mild irritation at the site of the attachment ng, ng scolex. So, the patient will have epigastric pain, vague discomfort, hunger, pang, hunger pangs, um, weakness, weight loss, loss of appetite, and pruritus ani. So, Bucket my per my perianal itching. There is yung mga actively motile proglottids in sa perianal area, no? And yung paganyan kasi it may cause the ans the patient anxiety and distress din. Diba? Kasi remember nyo, your T. saginata proglottids, they are actively motile, no? So 
because they are actively motile, they can cause obstruction in the in the bile and pancre pancreatic ducts as well as your append appendix. So we treat these adrenal infections with praziquantel that is five and five to ten mkd. So criteria for cure include the following: first, if we recover the scolex, because remember, no, in our in the introduction to cestodes, as long as your scolex and your neck is intact, no, and they are attached in your small intestines and they are intact. No, they they will actively 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 develop pa rin. So, no, the the scolex has to be recovered, or if not, there should be a negative stool examination three months after the treatment. Okay, here is your tinea solium. Okay, it is. It is. Um, there's a big difference between your tinea solium. Kasi, remember nyo, sa T. saginata, sa T. saginata, we can be effective if kuma, kumakain tayo ng raw or, or hindi masyadong nal, wala na tarong gluto na mga beef. In tinea solium, it's different, no? We can, we can also get, um, tinea solium infection from eating from eating improperly cooked pork meat but also no also there is a fecal fecal oral route no in which yung impregnated eggs mismo yung nakukuha natin no so meron siyang fecal oral route so as humans makaka-develop tayo ng tinatawag na cysticercosis, no? Pumupunta din sila sa ating mga tissues. So, okay. So, we will, ano ha, we will, we will discuss the life cycle of your tinea solium. So, ayan. Wait lang ha. Okay, so, pag nakain natin, yan na, dito tayo start. Pag nakain natin ng embryonated eggs ingested by the human host, no? Same, parang, the oncos feral hatch and they penetrate the uh, intestinal wall and they circulate around your circulatory system to your muscles, no? And the cysticerci, no? They become... Uh, cysti, they become uh, cysticercosellulose no and they that uh, that is an effective stage pero syempre wala namang kakain sa meat ng tao no so yung mga cysticerci they commonly infect your muscles your tongue your heart your diaphragm your liver your spleen and your your GI tissues. No. So, in another, in another way na makukuha natin siya, yung kumakain tayo ng um, hindi luto na pork. No. Doon sa, doon sa, doon sa, po, sa pig, nakakain yung pig ng embryonated eggs or gravid proglodids. Then, sa kanilang, sa kanilang pagkain nila nun ng embryonated, embryonated eggs. The oncons fear hatch, then they penetrate your intestinal wall, then they circulate, they, it circulates to the pig's musculature. So, ayan. No, in the pig, the oncons fear develop into an infective stage, which is your CC cerci. So, yun, nakakain natin yung nakakain natin yun yung cysticerca kasi kung ma, if kumakain tayo ng pork na hindi niluluto ng maayos then so yan so kung ano yung nangyayari sa 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 baboy no pwede din yung mangyari sa tao kasi pag kumakain pag nakakain tayo ng embryonated eggs 
So, same ang nangyari sa ating muscles. So, the pathogenesis and clinical manifestation of your T-solume. So, intestinal infection, they are mild, non-specific, and abdominal complaints. No, in, com in contrast to your T. saginata, which the proglutives can actively crawl, sa solume, they are not as active. So, yung mga obstruction ng bal duct, pancreatic duct, or the appendix is unlikely. So, ito na yung ating cysticercosis. So, often, no, they are multiple and they develop in any organ or tissue. They are located in your straighted muscle and in the brain. In the subcutaneous tissues, eye, heart, lung, and peritoneum may be involved, and the cyst may survive up to five years. So this is neurocysticercosis. It's one of the most serious zoonotic diseases worldwide, and the cysticerci containing ascolax may be found in the brain parenchyma or flowing freely in the ventricles. Your convulsion are the most common manifestation of your cerebral cysticercosis. So, ayan, di ba? Ito yung cysticercosis na andyan na sa brain. Di ba? Ayan, when, when you do an imaging. So, for treatment, we give praziquantel 5 to 10 MKD and niclosamide. So, still, the criteria for the cure include recovery of the scolex or a negative stool examination three months after treatment. So, for your cysticercosis, um, for multiple parenchymal cystic lesions, we treat them by giving praziquantel at dose of 50 to 75 uh, milligrams per kilogram divided into three doses for 30 days or albendazole at a dose of 400 milligrams twice a day for 8 to 30 days. So, for your diagnosis, no, that's why I said before, it's important to know the accurate count of your lateral branches of the uterus. Because this will help us in the diagnosis if the proglutives are of the T. solume or of the T. saginata. So, remember with the T. saginata, that is 15 to 20 branches and for your T. solume, that's 7 to 13. So... Um, eggs are irregularly passed out in the stool. So, cysticercosis is suspected in a patient coming from an endemic area with epileptic seizures without associated systemic symptoms. So, in, if, we test your, if that we test the patient's CSF, no, it's the patient's cerebrospinal fluid, we will see um, elevated protein, reduced glucose, and increased mononuclear cells. And if we do computer, uh, computed HL tomography and MRI, no, we can localize the cysticerca easily. So, ito yung bago, that is Tinia asiatica. It's reported in Taiwan, Korea, Thailand, and Indonesia. And it's initially believed to be closely related to T. saginata. So, cysticercus larvae of Tina asiatica were found in the liver of variable intermediate hosts that includes your pigs, cattle, goats, wild boars, and monkeys, hence the term cysticercus, cysticercus viscerotropica. Your adult, uh, adult can go up to 4 to 8 meters with 300 to 1,000 segments, and they are similar to C. janinata. The scolex is devoid of hooklets, but there is a prominent rostellum. So, the mature segments have a vaginal sphincter, and the graft proglottids have a posterior protuberance with 11 to 32 lateral branches arising from the main uterus. So, in the Philippines, tinia saginata is more common than T. solium. And there are many identified cases of adult males in northern Luzon provinces because they eat raw or undercooked meat while drinking alcohol as a, delicacy, as a delicacy. So, in the Philippines, near sister has been reported naman. 
and there is one report of ocular cysticercosis. So per, for prevention and control, so primary measure is lutuin ng maayos ang ating mga karne. If we freeze it for a negative 20 degrees Celsius for 10 days, this will kill the cysticerci. So that's why no, it's important that there will be sanitary inspection of all slo slaughtered pigs, cows, and cattle. And meat inspection should include the liver as well. No? So in summary, no, tinia solium, we humans can act both as definitive host and intermediate host, while your T. saginata, we can will never act as an intermediate host. And only definitive host lang tayo for T. saginata. So human sister cirrhosis does not occur. No, so you have to remember, ang T. saginata diri lang na sila sa pula. While your T. solium, pwede kaning pula, pwede pod kaning color blue. So, sa T. saginata, makuha na nato ang T. saginata. Pag magkaunta o beef nga wala na tarong luto, no? Nya, na ay cysticercai dito. No? Nga nung na ay dito sa atong beef nga nakaon. Tungod kay katong katel, nakakaon sila og og uh, impregnated eggs, no? Tapos, at some point, katong mga, katong mga eggs nga na-ingest nila, hatch ang concosphere, they penetrate, hindi ha sa imong tiya, masulod sila sa imong circulatory system, maabot dito sa mga muscle-muscle sa, mga muscle-muscle sa, baka, no? Sumo na to, katong mga cysticercai nga naasama sa mao na to itong ma-ingest, no? Ang tinia solium, kitang mga tao, pag makaon na to itong mga embryonated eggs kay sa kadamakan or some other, for some other reason, katong pwede mahitabo sa mga hayo, pwede po itong mahitabo sa atua. Pag makao na ito itong mga impernated eggs, ang oncosphere mag-hatch, mag-penetrate sa itong mga intestine, gastrointestinal system, specifically sa itong intestinal wall, then, musulod sila sa itong circulatory system, pwede po sila mag-reside dito sa itong muscles, no? And, Moto, they will cause pathological, no? They will cause you a disease, especially if, if, makuan, if maadu siya sa imong brain, no? One of my favorite uh, shows, which is House MD, I think their season 1, episode 1, uh, was a case of neurocysticercosis, no? Kung tingnan niyo siya, diba, it looks so pretty, but kawawa ang patient. So, ayan. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.